Have you been thinking about buying a new home and new construction in McKinney, Texas? Well, if you have, then you're in luck because today we're gonna to be touring the new master plan community in McKinney, Texas called Painted Tree. Painted Tree is going to be 3,400 homes built by six, seven, maybe even eight builders in three different districts that you're not gonna to wanna to miss. And today we're gonna to be touring one of the builders called Normandy Homes and I can't wait for you to see what's inside. And by the way, stick around to the very end because we're gonna give you a link to some insider information on the questions that you're gonna wanna absolutely ask when you're choosing a builder that's just right for you. And by the way, if you are just checking into the channel for the first time, make sure that you check down below. You're gonna wanna subscribe, especially if you're just trying to figure out what are the homes and the lifestyles and the opportunities that are available for you here in places like Painted Tree. And go ahead and ring the notification bell because you wanna be first in line to get the notifications, to get the information that the latest and greatest information on all the towns and the cities and communities and homes that are available for you north of Dallas, Texas. Hi, I'm Phil Martin with the Martin Home Team and EXP Realty. And my team and I do everything residential real estate in the towns and communities north of Dallas, Texas. Cities like Frisco, Texas, Allen, Texas, Prosper, Texas, Salina, Texas, even right here in McKinney, Texas. You know, my team and I have been leading people through the home selling and home buying process for a decade and just really helping people to move with confidence. And if moving with confidence is something that you'd like to do, go ahead and make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, better yet, right down below, schedule your own face-to-face -face Zoom call. We'd love to, to talk with you and learn more about the home and the lifestyle that you're interested in so we can help you too move with confidence. So today, let's get into it here on Painted Trail, just a little bit about Painted Trail. It's this huge, massive master plan community. It's gonna be three different districts and each district will have a theme. There's going to be the village district, much more urban and townhome, maybe some rentals, maybe even a little retail. Then you've got the lakeside district and that's where we're here today. There's a 20 acre lake uh, that's going to be here eventually in this part of the master planning community with trails, with parks, and everything that you expect from such a huge master plan community. And then finally, there's the Woodland District. And just north of here, there's lots of woods and the terrain gets, there's little valleys and different things to explore. It's just like you have your own park just on the Northern District of where you're living. And there's going to be many, many builders like we said before. So make sure you hit the notifications, check back in because from time to time, we're gonna be giving you the best information about the builders and this community. And so now it's time, let's get into this Normandy home. You're gonna love it. In Painted Tree, Normandy Homes is building homes anywhere from about 2,173 square feet all the way up to about 3,700 if you get all the bells and whistles. And what they're really known for is building four bedroom, four bath houses with two or three car garages that start with a base in the mid to high sixes and go into the sevens. That's a very sought after configuration these days with four bedrooms, four full bathrooms and the, the two car garage. And so they have plenty of space here in the lots they're building on to deliver that particular product. So this house we're looking at today is the Orleans model. And the Orleans model has two bedrooms down and three bedrooms up. It packs quite a punch in terms of a house if you have, if you need a lot of space for people in the house. So let's get into the Orleans model here at Normandy Homes and see what it has to offer. I love the contemporary door with the translucent glass. Some people don't like the clear glass, but they provide translucent glass. And right in the front door, you get this nice wide hallway and a view all the way to the backyard. Actually, you can see the neighbor's house. And so right away, you get a sense that this house is very spacious. And then immediately to the right, we get into, of course, what everybody's looking for these days in a house of this caliber, and that is the study. On this one, I love it because you can sit here at the desk and look out the front window, which a lot of people do, working from home or maybe uh, other business that you're doing here in the study, but you got the built-in uh, shelving here that they put in, tall ceiling, classic French double doors, but they're full glass. It, again, giving you a sense of lots and lots of room in this house. So come on in, let's get into the major part of the house. You know, this right here is usually a wall or a door to the garage. It's a model home, so we're not gonna go here, but 
right up front, you got the half bath for guests. And coming into the main living area, you're gonna see it's just a, a long and it's wide and you've got plenty of room. Up front here is the kitchen area with the huge island. But before we go there, let's take a look and see what's on the right. Because I love this about Normandy when they have these four and five bedroom homes is they tend to put uh, two bedrooms on the first floor, which is what a lot of people are looking for when they have a home with this many bedrooms. Of course, you've got ample storage here. But as you come through, there's a full bath here to your right, which is just adjacent to another really great bedroom. It has a walk-in closet, and this is kind of like an ensuite, except the bathroom's just outside the door. So if you have guests, if you have in-laws or parents, they've got this extra bedroom, big enough for a large bed, plenty of space, they have their own bathroom up front. You still have the half bath for guests in the house, but then we come back out and get into the living space. Now check out this kitchen. So over in the corner, right behind the refrigerator, you can see we have this nice walk-in pantry. And if you pan back around and just look at the counter space that you have in this house, you've got the nice white shaker cabinets, recessed lighting, you've got the nice frigid air. Appliance package, stainless steel, and look at this beefy gas cooktop. It's the professional version of the Frigidaire brand. The pendant lights are very industrial, very contemporary, very transitional in nature, if you will, and which goes so well with this nice high sheen granite and the composite deep sink here in the middle. Now this big open floor plan is great. It's what a lot of people are looking for, and it becomes functional when you add your furniture. For example, here's our formal dining room table, which turns this space into the formal dining. And as we move into the main living area, you're gonna see the ceiling in this house just explode. I, that's gotta be all of 16 feet. And if you come and look from this angle, you've got lots of light coming in from these windows. You have transom windows across the top. There's no lack of light or open feeling but they put wrought iron across the top where the game room is instead of drywall to open up the space even more. It's just a beautiful look, it's a beautiful feel, and before we go into the primary suite, let's check out what this view through these windows is giving us on the, in the backyard. Because what they've done here is they've put a pretty good sized patio underneath the actual roof. We have a ceiling fan, you can put TVs out here. You can't be in Texas without having a Texas sized porch so you can enjoy the outdoors when the seasons are right. Here they've got a great backyard. They put in these beautiful bistro lights. Man, you could, you could do anything, put a pool. You can, lots of games could be had back here on this, on this lot. And we have lots like this out here in Painted Tree that are gonna be available for building. And so if we come back in to the home, we're gonna now go into the primary suite, and they've done something here that I think I like quite a bit. We'll see if you like it too. And that is, as you come down this hallway, so as you come down the hallway to the primary suite, you'll find there's a utility room right here. And if I'm the owner of the house, I don't wanna be schlepping my laundry upstairs, downstairs, or across the house. I love the fact that it's right here outside of my door, so I can, if I need to, I can bring my laundry here. I've got the sink, I've got cabinets, um, I've got everything I need, and then right back into the primary suite. And the primary suite doesn't disappoint either. Lots of light, we've got a coffered ceiling, or a raised ceiling, and coming in through the big double doors, we're gonna find a bath that's exactly what you were expecting it to be in a house like this. I've got vanity one, I've got vanity two, Got a large drop-in garden soaking tub. I've got this tile, this is actually tile on the floor on large format wood-like tile, so it's incredibly durable. And if we were to run to the, to the left here, you can see your first closet. Then 
And then transitioning back into the master bath, you've got this large uh, shower enclosure with a frameless glass door. You've got tile surround, which goes all the way to the ceiling. That's when you know you're, you're getting into a little more luxury when the tile goes all the way up. You've got a true mud pan. Um, it's just a great fixture in this primary suite. Now, if we come here, you're gonna find something that I think is kind of interesting. We have a, a big closet. I call that the her closet. And this is the other her closet, the her and her closet. And for you guys that are chuckling right now, you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, but there's two closets here. Of course, a facilities room here to, your, to the back of the room and then back out of the primary suite. And like I said, it doesn't disappoint here on the Normandy and the Orleans model that we've been looking at. So now we're gonna travel upstairs and look at the other bedrooms and what are, what are the things that are waiting for us upstairs? Of course, the Orleans has three or two bedrooms down, three bedrooms up, 3,172 square feet. And this one, the base price is in the high sixes, but the finished model is gonna be in the 700s. And you get to the top and you've got this huge space. And again, the fact that they were to put the wrought iron instead of drywall in this wall opens the space up quite a bit and the light from the living area, the three big windows in the game room, all come in along with this window seat. Again, it doesn't disappoint. But now look at this, through the barn doors. So you can close this room off. Why would you wanna do that? Well, if you're in here watching TV, true media room. Insulated against sound, there are no windows, so you can enjoy yourself in theater quality setting, watching your favorite movies in the evening. And now let's get to the final bedrooms here in the Orleans. We're gonna hang out here to the right to begin with. Let's transition into past closet for linen storage, right into this bedroom. And this is gonna blow your mind. Again, come in here and look. It's not just another walk-in closet. It's a walk-in closet with a full bath. Beautiful tile on the surround. It's almost like a iridescent tile. And as you turn, you see they have the walk-in closet. There's your own vanity. So the perfect ensuite on the second floor to kick it off. Let's go see what else we can find. Of course, if you have guests upstairs using the media room, using the game room, we've got a full bath right here. with beautiful tile. I, I love the black and white contrast. And here we see there's bedroom three upstairs. Actually, this is uh, the third bedroom upstairs. But of course, this is our fourth bedroom in the house. And check it out. Remember the first bedroom on, on the upstairs here had its own ensuite? Check this out. So if you absolutely need those four full bathrooms, So if you need the four bedrooms because you also need four bathrooms, this is gonna be the model you wanna come and see. The Orleans by Normandy, more walk-in closets, and now to the fifth bedroom up top here. Now this bedroom doesn't have an ensuite, but it is. There is a full bath just outside the front door here. Of course, they've got a view to the front of the house with more light coming in from the windows. So the Orleans, as built, 3,172 square feet. And this home had five bedrooms and four full bathrooms. Had that great outdoors. And we had, let me just count them up. We had one, two, three bedrooms with en suites. Then the, the primary suite had its own bath. And so if you need all the bathrooms to match all the bedrooms, this is a place you might wanna come. So let's head out and wrap it up. So if this model interested you and you would like to learn more about Normandy Homes or about Painted Tree or uh, McKinney, Texas in general, go ahead and shoot us uh, an email, send a text, give us a call. Better yet, go ahead and schedule your face-to-face -face Zoom call. We'd love to learn more about the home and the lifestyle that you're looking for here in the cities and towns north of Dallas, Texas. And we'd love to help you 
move with confidence. This is Phil Martin. Hope to see you soon.